All right. Hey there. How's it going? So a while ago, a uh, buddy of mine asked me to um, do a tutorial video for how I do do my um, my paracord uh, knot bottle holder uh, thing. So bottle knot, bottle holder. So I do it. Uh, make a four pack just using a uh, four pack holder, just using the paracord. So this is a uh, 550 uh, paracord. I don't really know what the 550 means. It probably has to do with the strength or the thickness or something like that. But, oh, um, music brought to you by my children. So soundtrack provided by them. If it actually sounds like music, it's either my five-year-old or my seven-year-old. All right, so for starters, um, you can get this paracord from anywhere. You can get it from Home Depot or Ace or your local hardware store or even, you know, a place like Walmart or whatever sells it. So it's, uh, it's pretty cheap. You can get like 50 feet for like under five bucks. So that's this is, this stuff is this is my choice for doing this kind of stuff so for starters um oh happy birthday happy birthday yeah whose birthday is it all right so the first nut you do you do it right at the end and it's a uh it's a it's a, um it's a figure eight knot so it's pretty easy to do you make a horseshoe <laughs> horseshoe you come underneath the one over the top and then so underneath, over the top, and then you come back down through under underneath and through the loop that you started with, through the bottom of that horseshoe. Then you tighten it. And that's your figure eight knot. I put that right at the end because uh, uh, it makes sure that your bottle knot, which we're gonna tie next, doesn't slip off. Um, I really like I really like uh, rock climbing, so uh, whenever I can, I always feature a climbing knot like the figure eight. So there you go. All right. <clears throat> the bottle knot itself. Now this is like the most important knot in the whole system. And the bottle knot is the one that first gets you started. Um, the bottle knot makes sure that none of the other bottles slip off. So to do the bottle knot, um, it's pretty simple. You start off, first of all, you try and get pretty close to the, to your end over here. And you start off with um, the beginnings of a lark's head. So if you're familiar with the lark's head, here it is. So lark's head is two loops, both underneath the, the front horizontal piece, okay? So that's how we start when we're doing the, um, when we're doing the bottle knot. All right, step two with the bottle knot is to take one side, one loop, and put it over the other loop. And now, um, doing this um, creates like this uh, pretzel kind of a shape for us. So you can see here now, this is our pretzel shape. Let's see if we can get that a little bit better, a little clearer for it. So there is our pretzel. All right, so we started with the Lark's shape, and then we took one loop, put it over the other, and now, when you kind of rearrange it here, we uh, we end up with uh, with this shape. Uh, sparkly pencil provided by my five-year-old. All right, so this is the this is, these are the big steps for what's up? Oh, this is oh this is your pencil. Okay, cool. This is Seth's pencil. He is seven. It's a beautiful pencil. Thank you for letting me use it. All right, so what we do here now, so once we're in this position, we go ahead and we take this piece here, this this little spot in the loop, and we put this underneath this piece. So under, this one goes under here, and then up and over here. And then it goes over this one, and then back under he, through here, underneath this one, and then back up through this spot right over here. Does that make sense? So this one here 
kind of goes around, travels around the world. It starts by going under this, then over this, then under this, and then back out and over this. All right, so we're gonna give that a shot here. All right, ready? Let's see what I can do here for you, if I can do it in a way that you can kind of see it. So first, under, then over, then under, and then out. And that's it. And now you kind of pull this through here. Okay? And then you kind of dress it up a little and tighten this guy. And now when you look at it, okay, what you're going to see here is you're going to see you've got to kind of play with it a little bit, but you want to see two loops on the top. So we have this here, this kind of circle here, one and two here, this circle, and then underneath you've got the same, one circle and two circles. And this spot right in the middle, this forms, this forms right where you want to put your bottle. All right, right where you want to put the, the nose of the bottle. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Here it is. I'm making a video for a friend who wants, who wanted to know how to make this, uh, the the paracord or rope bottle holder, okay? So now the ends here, you pull on the two ends on the sides and that's really what pulls it together. Now, we made our little knot on the side so that it doesn't slip out, which is cool. And now if you were to, if you were to like um, carry this, you'd actually carry it from right, from right here, from the loop that we just made, all right? Um, what you could do is you could actually cut this side as well and then make it just like a single single bottle carrier which is really cool too so you'd cut this one do a little knot there a decorative knot on the end and then you could carry a single bottle this way All right, but we're not doing that we are gonna go ahead now uh, now that we've got the bottle knot on here we're gonna go ahead and attach all the other bottles so once you've got that knot in there good it it's the rest of this is simple all we're doing is we're using clove hitches to tie on the last three bottles so the clove hitch um, it's kind of like the lark's head how we started so we start with a loop over and then so a loop over and then we go with a loop under so take a look here and see if you can see if you can see what I'm talking about so this first one this first one you can see is under here on this is underneath this guy and this one over here this one sits over this guy so now what you do is you take the one that's under the loop that's under you place the loop that's under over the loop that's over and then Just uh, what we're actually gonna do here is bring the bottle around the other way, and all you do is place it right through onto your bottle. Okay, and now you flip it around, and you can see. Go ahead and tighten this, and this is what your clove hitch looks like. Okay, and you want about you know about an inch or so in between the bottle knot and your first flow pitch and what that does is that's kind of the spacing or the gap between your your bottles so that up at the top it's you know pretty tight so the clove hitch is easy enough to tighten here it you know just kind of pull on both sides and it, it tightens so that's our first one come over here so we'll go first loop under second loop over under over the one that's over and then what we have to do here actually is 
flip the whole knot upside down. Uh, you can't see. I'm gonna flip the whole thing upside down and then put it on. And then you tighten it up. And now you can see, flip it around and see that that's our, that's our knot. Still our clove hitch. All right. So now you can see we got a row, three bottles so far. Oh hey, look, we still have some uh, Valentine's Day decorations here. Last one. <coughs> loop under, loop over, with the one that's, yep. loop under, under, over, one that's under goes over. And then the whole thing, we're gonna flip it over. And flip it over and put it on our bottle there. All right, so now we got all three of them together. The way we finish this up, or all four bottles are connected there. The way we finish this up, you got that loop from your bottle knot over here, okay? Go ahead and go through that, through that loop. Now what we're gonna do here, so we're just gonna attach, we're gonna make a knot to, to connect to this last bottle to our bottle knot one. So all we're gonna do here, <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a, we'll do a half hitch or a taut line hitch. So what you do is after you go through your loop point, come back over here, you make another loop. So in this case, I want, yeah, I'll do it this way so you can see it better. All right, so here we go, we'll go underneath. We're looking right here now. Underneath. Now you go through that this new loop. We just made this loop for our last knot right here. Go through there one time. Now we're gonna actually go through that same spot one more time, but we're gonna go closer towards the loop on this. Or towards the um, Towards, towards the original, um, well, fur, further away from the, the last clove pitch. How's that? All right, and then the last thing you do is you take your last time and you go underneath, and you you, you made now this little loop here. Now you come back through that. Now we are out of out of tail there, but that's it, we can tighten it up, okay, now this guy, so what I like about the taut line is that you can now take this guy, You can slide it over. And then as you slide it, you're actually tightening up against that clove pitch. Alright? So that's what that taut line looks like when it's tied tight. The bottom end sticks out, or the, the tail sticks out the bottom. The front of that loop sticks out the, the top. Okay? And now, and just carry it around right here by your original bottle loop. And that's that's your anchor point for the whole system. All right? All right, hope that does it for you.